It's about that time of day again. My name is Joseph. Tuesday evening, October 31st. Welcome back to your nightly newsletter. We're covering crude oil, S&P, NASDAQ, gold, and euro this evening. Crude is bullish with a strong spike higher to finish today's session. So I'm anticipating a spike in channel and looking for buying opportunities ahead of tomorrow's weekly inventory report. Speaking of tomorrow, S&P is bullish with a weak, weak bull channel, telling me to wait for those deep dips tomorrow morning while avoiding the temptation to chase the move higher. Over the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is bullish and trying to double top the measured move target tomorrow morning. And I have a key support trend line on the chart I'm watching for the entry. Gold, gold is bearish and trying to retest Friday's low, but we've pulled back into a key support zone from last night's newsletter, and I have two specific scenarios I'm watching for Wednesday. Euro is bullish with a spike in channel pattern tonight, but the most important clue on the chart is the moving average, which tells me to watch for a bear trap for buying opportunities tomorrow morning. Boy, speaking of tomorrow morning, tomorrow is FOMC. We get the meeting began today. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll hear from the FMC announcement. We got some big news tomorrow. We got some big opportunities as we kick off the first day of the month of November. I got a great newsletter in store for you guys and gals for tonight. Before we jump into our charts and put the plan together for Wednesday's session, the first day of the month of November, I want to remind you the only place to watch the full-length version of this video is here on our blog at sidewaysmarkets.com. If you're watching the video right now on our YouTube channel, not to worry. There's a link in the description of that YouTube video. Follow that link. Come join me here on the blog at Sideways Markets and watch the full-length version. While you're here, don't forget, join the mailing list. I'll send you an email every evening when our nightly newsletter goes live. Lower left-hand corner, follow me on social. Stock to its Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever your favorite flavor of choice. I'm always posting important charts, links, and updates throughout the week. And speaking of charts, how easy is that? All the charts in tonight's video, that's right, you can have them on your computer. Just follow that link right where it says click here to download today's charts and be locked and loaded for tomorrow's session. And speaking of tomorrow's session, grab a free pass and come out and join me as a guest in the trade room. You're going to learn more with me on that free pass than you will anywhere else on the interwebs. I can pretty much guarantee you that. If you're not an advanced member here at School of Trade, don't delay. Grab that free pass in the upper right-hand corner and I'll see you tomorrow in the trade room. And don't forget, if you if any questions on the way, any questions at all, I'm always here to answer all your questions using live support on the right-hand side of the website. Hope you guys had a great, great Tuesday session. A little bit slow as we finished up the month of October. We got, of course, Halloween right around the corner. The sun goes down here in Los Angeles in a few hours, and I'm sure all the kids will be out and about trick-or-treating. If you do plan on going out this evening, be safe out there, right? Make sure you come back tomorrow morning, right? Safe and sound, and make sure you have some fun with the kids. Now, speaking Speaking of tonight, tonight we have some major news on the calendar here from China. So if you are planning on trading the Halloween session, right, the overnight Asian session, be aware you get some news at 9.45 p.m. from our good friends in China. Tomorrow morning, we kind of have a peppering of news tomorrow. We've got, of course, the 2 o'clock Eastern time, the uh, home price index from Great Britain. And then we skip on down to the ISM manufacturing index at 10 a.m. And we round off the day tomorrow right with the FOMC meeting minutes. Excuse me. We go down to the petroleum status report at 10.30, and then we round off the session at 2 o'clock with the FOMC meeting announcement. So, of course, tomorrow morning, with some you know, relatively minor news. It is, it is listed as a market-moving event. I don't expect that to have too much of an impact for us tomorrow morning. You know, the big London session is from 3 a.m. until 7 a.m. Eastern time. So there really isn't much in the, uh, in the sense of the London session uh, in the overnight session. Uh, we do, however, though, tomorrow morning have some news at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So you definitely want to be watching that tomorrow morning. 10 o'clock Eastern time is always an important time of the day anyways. And so when I have a big news event, like the manufacturing index at 10 a.m. as well, I'm always expecting right that to be a big market-moving event. On top of that, after 10 o'clock Eastern time, we start shifting our focus over to the weekly inventory report. Every Wednesday, we have the weekly inventory report, unless Monday is a holiday. It'll get pushed back to Thursday. So tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time, we have the weekly inventory report. And a couple things you want to keep in mind on that is, is that first of all, the weekly inventory report is one of the most unpredictable days of the week to trade crude. Right now, and you'll see in a moment, we have a bull market going higher. But I'll tell you right now, it, it's very, very common for us to see a bull move on Tuesday night, and then on Wednesday, we're right back to being bearish again. So be aware of that. 
full trend reversals are quite common between Tuesday evening and Wednesday evening as the news comes out. Sometimes it feels like Tuesday night just sets up into Wednesday sell-off right around the inventory report. So don't be surprised if we see a little bit of unpredictable markets right tomorrow. The next thing you want to think of is really after 10 a.m. If you plan on trading after 10 a.m. Eastern time on crude oil, you need to have a good reason to be doing it. Now, I hope I'm wrong, but oftentimes the markets are a little bit too slow, not the markets, but crude oil, is a little bit too slow after 10 a.m. Eastern Time. My official cutoff is 10:15 Eastern Time on Wednesday mornings. I give it 15 minutes ahead of that news, and then I always give it a few minutes after the news comes out. Let the chaos ensue, let the dust settle, and then we can get back to business after 10:35, 10:40. Once the mayhem calms down after that big news report comes out, and then the last thing I want to remind you about the weekly inventory report is I always publish publish my Wednesday support and resistance levels. I sent those out a few hours ago to all my social media feeds. If you follow me on StockTwits or Twitter, Facebook or LinkedIn, I sent out all that data a few hours ago. So make sure you follow me on social so you don't miss an update like that in the future. I'm also going to have those numbers posted below the video tonight on the blog. If you're on the blog at sidewaysmarkets.com, just scroll down below the video. There's a button that says or a link that says click here to read more. Follow that link and you'll see all of these support and resistance levels I'm publishing for tomorrow's session. Those will be good until the end of the day on Wednesday. So first thing we talk about on inventory day, Wednesday, don't be surprised if we see real sharp reversals. Again, it's it's kind of ripe for reversal. I have this, is this big news tomorrow morning. Also, 10 a.m., right, kind of the, kind of the unofficial cutoff. 10.15 is the official cutoff. And then the third thing is, is watch those support and resistance levels I'm going to send out to you guys and I'll have them on the blog here as well. Now, final thing here for tomorrow. I know you thought I was done on that. Final thing for tomorrow is tomorrow is the FOMC announcement. That's at 2 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Now, don't let this fool you. It really is an early in, early out market for everyone tomorrow. The news might not be until 2 o'clock, but typically the U.S. morning session is really going to be all the reliable ability you're going to be able to get tomorrow after 11 30 12 o'clock eastern time right once the u.s traders go to lunch once they pack up and go home in london right that's typically when the markets really flatten out low volume very small ranges as traders anticipate the fmc meeting announcement this is big 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 news. It's one of the biggest news events we get as traders. It happens eight times a year. Um, it is just as big, in my eyes, as the monthly employment number, which we'll see on Friday, which I'll talk more about in tomorrow night's newsletter as we shift our focus towards Friday. So we get some big news tomorrow afternoon, 2 p.m. Eastern time. What you want to remember is anytime we have major, major news in the afternoon, it's usually going to be in your best interest to focus on the morning session. Don't try to play that game trading the early afternoon ahead of the announcement tomorrow. And then, you know, anytime we have a big, big news event, the market will usually either be too fast or too slow to trade after the news comes out. If tomorrow afternoon's announcement is right within expectations, most markets will have already priced in this news event, and the markets won't do very much. It'll be pretty slow. If we have some surprises come out of tomorrow's announcement, which is always possible, right? once we get a chance to digest the full text tomorrow afternoon, we may see a very volatile reaction. So as the news comes out tomorrow afternoon, again, I would focus on the U.S. morning session. Don't try to be a hero in the afternoon. It is not worth risking your trading career, and I really do mean your trading career, because you're trying to gamble, right, trading during major, major news. So morning session tomorrow, most reliable. After the news comes out tomorrow, it's usually going to be either too fast or too slow to trade. And I always tell my new students, it's best to stay away from the price action after the FOMC announcement until you've seen four or five of these different examples, you know, until you've gone through four or five of these FOMC announcements and you really see how nutty these price action scenarios can get after the news comes out, I would choose to sit on hands. I wouldn't even waste your time on a simulator. So stick the morning session 
get at it early. Get out of there early. We got fireworks for crude traders at 1030. We got fireworks for everybody right down at 2 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow. And, of course, we'll come back and we'll cover the prep for the rest of the week right in tomorrow night's newsletter. My most important thing for tomorrow is is be careful around both the inventory report at 1030 right, and the FOMC announcement at 2 o'clock Eastern time. These are big big news reports for for all different types of traders right so be very careful with that all right stuff tonight i know it's kind of a long intro but i had a lot to cover now that you guys have that covered for you guys now let's get the charts all set to go we'll go crude oil s p nasdaq gold and we'll wrap up tonight on the euro crude oil is bullish ahead of tomorrow's unpredictable weekly inventory report and with this spike higher this afternoon i'm anticipating a spike in range or a possible spike in channel pattern developing overnight to be traded tomorrow morning now i don't want to forget that we're technically trying to break out of a range and this most recent push higher would definitely be the two try rule but this move is based on news this afternoon and if you're unaware of this news is one of those situations that can easily break the market out of a range bottom line the bulls have control right now we are at the high of a long-term spike in channel so i don't want to buy here i'm waiting to see if we get a spike in range or a possible spike in channel overnight or do we collapse right back down right into that range we came from in today's session the big variable for tomorrow is the big news at 10 30 a.m eastern time so the plan is to grab those trades ahead of 10 15 and then excuse me and then wait for the dust to settle and get back to the action and again as i mentioned earlier i've published these support and resistance levels right that are ready for tomorrow's session those will be act those will be active until the end of the day tomorrow afternoon looking good okay couple things to look in the chart right now first of all big explosion higher this explosion higher is coming off of the weekly api report which comes out every tuesday at 4 30 p.m eastern time you know my beginner classes will teach you all of these different inventory reports that you have to be aware of each week so that big blast higher right is definitely coming off of some major major news but let's not forget about the big picture as we mentioned from last night's newsletter we had a triangle in the chart right trading range in the chart so you can definitely see i'm sure most of you are probably thinking well isn't this one try two try and you're absolutely right so in all reality we might find ourselves back tomorrow right back down into that range we came from i think ideally we have to get through this rising support if that's going to be the case now i also talked about this in last night's newsletter right this potential you could also get this as one big spike and channel Right, so that spike in channel, whether you want to call it here or or here, right, this could easily be seen now as one big spike in channel, right? So this could easily find our way down into that trading range again tomorrow. So those are the two scenarios that tell me if it's a range breakout, this is one try, two try, and then back down in. Or is this a large spike in channel? And we're just simply rotating up to the high right and back down to that low right we talked about those two scenarios last night on the newsletter one thing right or the the second scenario that i'm that i'm preparing for here tomorrow and that is going to take a little bit more time to stay patient and see what happens is is here we have a real big strong spike up that spike came after a news event now whenever news comes out and creates a spike i'm always looking for one of four scenarios either a spike and channel a spike and range a spike and wedge or a flag pattern these are the four most common scenarios these are in order of frequency in other words a spike in channel is the most common spike in range definitely second right second place uh, spike in wedge and then of course the rarest of the bunch right would be that flag pattern all of these patterns all start with one thing in common a spike right that spike going higher so what i'm really waiting for right now is as i see this spike going higher do we pull back and retest the high to then give me a spike in channel do we pull back and make a new higher high overnight right for a spike and sorry for a spike in channel or do we see a spike in range right or maybe this is it for the buyers and the price collapses back down 
right off a flag right so these are some of the things I'm watching here in the overnight session so really in my mind there are two basic scenarios one scenario is whether you call this a spike in channel a big spike in channel or, or range we go up and right back down again so hopefully tonight we've given you guys a great plan for pretty much every scenario for the FOMC announcement tomorrow right one of the most common things though for tomorrow is early in early out and we got to be patient tomorrow, kind of see what we get in this overnight session. Because again, it's not just Fed Day tomorrow, it's also the first day of the month. And like I mentioned earlier, usually you'll have to wait until about midnight Eastern time before you can start using that technical analysis to give you some, some worthy patterns for tomorrow. Don't forget, don't forget, we've covered a lot tonight on this video. You don't have to go at it alone every day in your trading career. Come join me tomorrow morning. We'll be in our trade room. At 8 o'clock Eastern Time with all of our advanced members. I look forward to seeing you there. If you want to learn more about what it means to be a client here at School of Trade, or if you're just curious about our trading strategies, grab our free trial on the home page of the website. And while you're here, don't forget to check out our beginner, intermediate, and advanced classes. If you have any questions on the way, I will see you guys on live support. If not, tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. And if I don't see you tomorrow morning, we'll do it again, same time, same place, tomorrow night. I'm pulling for the Dodgers tonight. I, I really would love to see both of these teams win the World Series. I hope you guys have a great evening. Enjoy the time of family and friends. All right, happy trick-or-treating out there. Don't eat too much candy. And I'll see you guys same time, same place tomorrow. My name is Joseph. Be well out there. Be nice to each other, will you? And be here next time. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.